Hello everyone! This week I received a comment asking to create a video including the sockets dimension in the room, the cable bill of quantity and the result in a plot layout. So here it is the video, enjoy! Alright, so depending on your region, you must have a norm that standardizes the minimum required number of sockets per room. But we can also uh, dimension the number of sockets thinking on the best comfort for the users. In this case, we have some furniture that can help us with that. And uh, I have previously defined some junction box in which I will connect the sockets. So I will click on a socket product database. Let's start with this single socket. I don't have to care about the height since I have previously defined the, the, the junction box. As you can see, it shows already the height and it will be connected to the same height of the junction box. Okay. Um, for the last one, I will exchange to a double horizontal behind this TV. All right, so first step is the definition of the sockets in the room. Um, now I don't need, I don't need this uh, furniture anymore, so I will hide them from the model and I will connect these sockets to a circuit. So all, all of these sockets will be in the same circuit. I will draw the cable with the size of 2.5 square millimeters. So I will start from this board I will change the height to 2.44 and I will connect to this ceiling junction box. Now I will branch off and connect it to this junction box and to the other side as well. From here to this socket. Now, I will start from this junction box down below the floor, so I can connect it to, to, this to this junction box and in the wall directly to the other socket, like this. So this is the result, as you can see. The cable already indicates when the cable is on the floor, all right? Now, I would like to add some load to the socket using the function group indicator. So, I will insert like 100 watts uh, per socket. I just have to click on a socket. And for this double socket, I will double also the load to 100 watts like this. Alright, so now we can generate a, a parts list. This is the preview that already includes the, the length of the cable, the length of the conduit and also the number of pieces per uh, product, but we can uh, generate a report that includes the load of this circuit. Since I have inserted the load for socket, and we can also see the, the, the length of this cable for this circuit and also the load per, per socket and also the total value. At the end, let's just see the result in 3D. Okay. And um, I want to make this available in a plot layout. I'll make use of the parts, part models function with a I will use this new polygonal. I will draw a polygonal geometry and I will close the contour with a perpendicular corner like this and I will also create a section from here to here. Now I have previously defined a plot layout so here it is I will first insert the complete model in a scale of 1 to 100 
in the top right and now the part model in a scale of 150 on the bottom left and also the section in the top left and to finish this I could also uh, generate in uh, a automatic legend that includes all the component symbols that I have in my model right now okay so this is the end result would you like to see more videos like this so subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of the new videos and what else would you like to know about the DSCAD? Put it on your comment below and I can make a video for you. Cheers!